Welcome back. We are talking about the bouté today. Uh, it's a series of couple of videos. If you've missed the first two, just go back and look at them. But we are talking about this valgus pattern of the knees, the knee knocking that causes pain in the knees whenever you squat, do yoga, walk or run. So a muscle we'll be discussing today is called glute medius. It's a guy right over here, it's pretty big and it's responsible for keeping your entire body stable. And again, when do you need this motion? Pretty much all the time. So I'm going to have Nolan talk about how to activate, activate this muscle that's usually pretty weak. So we take our trusty TFR ball, okay? Uh, we give this to all our patients. But when you find your pelvis, okay? You'll find your pelvis at the top of it, you'll feel a bony ridge. And then at the widest part of your hips, that's where your actual hip joint starts. So between your pelvis and the widest part of your hips lives this glute med muscle. So we find it, you can use your thumb first. Usually it's right there. There's a big mm -hmm. trigger point and tender spot in there. And that's the point you want to use. So we're going to let her lay on her side. My head will be this way mm -hmm. so you guys can see and it And well. take the ball into that point that we found or that we were just talking about. This is pretty darn sensitive. So if you do this for the first time, you might really feel uncomfortable. So put some weight onto your hands if that helps take some of the pressure off. And we really want to activate and release this muscle and then contract it and make it fire, okay? So one good way to contract it is after you, oh, our ball's leaving. That's, That's okay. okay. <laughs> after you contract it, you, or after you stimulate it and get rid of any tight spots in there, you want to contract it. So one typical easy exercise to do is just the clamshell. So you're gonna lay on your side and open your knees like a butterfly. And you see what she's doing there. She's actually putting her finger on the muscle. And you should be able to feel that muscle contract as the knees open. Um, and if you don't feel that muscle contract, you might feel your back start and contract. So that's a typical compensation, okay? Um, if that's not strong enough for you or not challenging enough for you, we can do a side plank, a kneeling side plank and a leg lift. And this is a lot more challenging if you try it. Uh, this is actually working both glute meets. The bottom one is pushing down against the uh, floor and gravity to support your body weight while the top one is actually lifting the leg. All right, so between the, these three videos about knee crashing or knee valgus, you should be able to uh, get some benefit and make yourself feel better and maybe uh, even get back to the squat, okay? Just one, you guys, just one. All right. Better. And the knees are Better. not crashing, <laughs> right? <sighs> Staying right in line. Nice job. Thank you.